hi guys i hope all is well and then on today's video we are analyzing usdt and nasdaq and then firstly we're going to start with usdt on the weekly chart and on the weekly chart we have an overall move that is pushing to the upside and then we have some value areas that we can look forward to having we have this as our first value area whereby the market gave us that mass psychology activation we have this one that has not been tapped as of yet and then we have this low here that we can cater for and then all in all we have a descending channel just like this on the weekly chart and then let me just cater for the bottom also just like this and moving to a daily chart that is where we can just look at how the market is moving on the daily chart and then we already have a push to the downside a corrective move and another push to the downside and then we have another corrective move whereby we expect the market to clearly push to the downside and complete the overall move so let's switch to a four hour chart and then just check for that uh price action and structures that we can just use so on the four hour we have a clear structure there i'll just i'm not going to focus like on the overall structure just like this i'll just look at the current market structure of which is this one here just like this do this and then at the top we have three touches at the top just like this so it's a complete pattern and then we have the overall 90 percent rule around there so what i'm currently thinking is that i'll just remove this ray line here and then put one at the top of the structure just like this so let's move to a hour chart and then start doing our forecasting so on the hour chart the forecast that we have is that we clearly have a push to the downside a corrective move a push to the downside and then this is the larger corrective move on the amber zone to clearly push to the 90 percent rule to clearly complete like the 90 percent rule and clearly clear the lows at the bottom so we clearly have like a push that we are expecting to go to the downside so our forecast would be in this area here on the larger flag and then let me just cater for that larger flag so that you can get to see what i'm talking about so we have two touches at the top and we have a few touches at the bottom so what i'm expecting is for the market to complete this overall pattern at the top of the structure let's say maybe we get like a third touch like this then we can take an entry at the top of the structure for a sell around this point and then our stop loss can be just above like this area here and then we're looking forward to getting like the first touch first target as around here and then the second target around this overall 90 percent rule within this pattern here we can get like a second target on this uh, overall 90 percent rule of the target of the small pattern and then the overall 90 percent of which is about 7.5 percent so i won't go deeper into it and then look at like the larger targets i'll just be looking at this area here and then if you want uh, a clear entry you can just wait for the market to uh, correct to the upside as it is correcting at the moment just wait for the corrective move up until the overall third touch and then after you get like the third touch that is when you can just use like a ray line let's say maybe you have a trend pushing up just like this and then what you can do is that you can place your sell stop just below structure just like this and then your stop loss is just above the area and then you are targeting the outer structure the 90 percent rule of the small pattern and the overall larger 90 percent rule for about 6.9 percent so that is how i'm looking at us 80 and another scenario that you can just use is that you can just clearly wait for the push to the downside to confirm the structure and the overall move and then wait for six to eight hours tight candlesticks and then you place your sell stop just below structure just like this this is a more confirmed entry whereby you place your sell stop your stop loss is just above your targeting the overall 90 percent for 2.7 the overall larger 90 percent for about five percent so we still have like a reward on this uh, nice entry or this nice pattern 
so let's look at nasdaq so on nasdaq i'm just going to remove each and everything and then on the weekly let's start on the weekly chart refresh everything so on the weekly we currently have the structure and then as you can see we have been pushing to the downside for the longest we have been analyzing the markets to get like those nice selling opportunities so we are still selling so we have this type of structure happening and then we can just cater for the high and the current low that we have of which is this one here and what i'll ha also have on this pet on this uh setup is that i'll have a ray line at the bottom of the structure and then if you cater for that multi-touch confirmation you'll see that we have a first touch here a second touch here and then we didn't get the third touch at this point here for us to complete the overall pattern in this area here so we can clearly have like the third touch for us to complete the pattern that is what i was analyzing uh, weeks before so on the daily chart that is where we got like that double top in this point here so we got the double top now let me just do this so since we don't have like a clear structure that we can work with we can just switch to a four hour chart so that we can get like a clear structure that we can work with so on the four hour we have something that we can work with of which is this area here we have this area here in a form of a larger ascending channel and then we can just use like the 90 percent rule of this pattern of which it's here then already the market is trying to get like to that area but you can see how it's moving it's moving very correctively in this point here you can see that we have a some type of a descending channel trying to form up around this point so even though we haven't gotten like a clear structure that we can work with but we have a descending channel that is trying to form up of which it can clearly push back to the upside and then we get like those buying opportunities of which they will break structure and then we hit the overall 90 percent rule so let's move to a our chart and see if we can get like something that we can uh, try to work with so on the hour chart let's check the hour so on the hour you can clearly see that we have some type of a larger flag that is trying to form up and then it's descending it has a descending type of feel to it let me just do this so we have this type of price action that is happening at the moment and what i'm thinking is that if we get like some buying opportunities at the 90 percent rule that will happen if we get that that touch at the lows just like this if we get that, that touch just like this then we can look for those uh, buying opportunities from here maybe up to this point up to this point here let me just do this and then we have the overall 90 percent rule and then you look for those buying opportunities maybe around at this point here your stop loss is just below and then your overall target is around this point here and then the reason why i have like uh, the entry just below and then my target around this point is that we can have a evolved structure whereby this is the larger corrective move whereby this is the impulse larger corrective move and then we continue to push back to the downside to create that third touch that i was talking about so you can just have a more evolved structure whereby we can just push this back to the upside just like this mm -hmm. and then we have a an expanding pattern just let me just remove this just like this we have the expanding pattern and then we look for those longer term sales from here to the overall third touch that i was talking about of which it's at this point here let me just do this of which we can have the overall larger flag that will be completed at this point here for about the overall target of 19 percent so that is how i'm looking at usdt and nasdaq and then if you want the best broker to trade nasdaq and usdt you can just use the link in the description below don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell and i'll see you on another video